learn this language effectively and easily particularly when somebody is trying to do it on their own mm-hmm. so i think uh, what you have said that without hard work you can't do anything but you have to do the hard work in a smart way okay. first we have to just delete this mentality eradicate eradicate you eradicate this mentality how uh, today's generation are becoming very disrespectful towards their teachers or towards their elders i feel that the generation today is not to be blamed because social media prone people mm. are so accustomed to see all the kind of offensive things on their screen that they mm. feel that disrespecting teacher is a common common thing and mm. they are more of considering their rights you know many a times what happens when you speak about something to your student or try to convince that child for some good thing he or she would raise his voice and say that uh, uh, we have rights to speak about it how come can you do this to us it's mm-hmm. not that previous days that we would listen bow our head down and simply listen to teachers it's not that so people today are actually becoming more advanced but at the same time as a teacher i am learning now mm-hmm. that you need to do it as your profession you do not need to take it so seriously because every student comes from a different background Mm. carries different values B- values also yeah he cannot just engage in his personal life and teach him something sometimes mm. some students are not born to be educated they carry themselves as if they are superior to everybody else present mm. so many a time this has happened and then you know time teaches so that is what i am learning that uh, i do need to carry out my task thinking that is just my profession to give my 100% and then rest like not to take things very table. privately that what it takes yes, right exactly and yeah i would yeah, say that i also believe that uh, it's not mandatory that every student has to be very good in their uh, study but you should have some sort of uh, obedience and also you should be good mannered you should respect your elders so these are the few attributes that every human being should have in them you know it's not mandatory that uh, everybody will have uh, immense amount of knowledge but the ideology morality and also at the same time uh, to show your reverence towards your elders are very important and not only elders to everybody i think and irrespective of uh, money irrespective of gender caste everything so that's the thing somehow is missing from today's generation hmm. so when, i feel that uh, it yeah. comes from family hmm, 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 hmm. that's true that's true that's true so when in your class actually any student misbehaves with you or maybe uh, are not listening to you are not obeying you so what sort of uh, measures usually you take i have stopped taking measures now honestly okay. saying hmm. stop so taking measures i you know when the strength of the class is really huge hmm. Hmm. and you have limited period hmm. you have target that you have to finish your syllabus within this period of time hmm. you are committed towards your action because you have promised to somebody that i would take these many lectures to complete this much yeah and when you are bound by your time limit and when you know that certain students here are actually not even disappointing they are they are brutally so ill mannered that you can't do anything anything mm-hmm. if you speak one they are there to speak 10 to you yeah. so i honestly do not care about them i ignore like hell mm-hmm. i simply tell them that if you are not interested you can leave the class or you can sit on the last bench and do whatever you want to do without making noise let the others study yeah yeah I'm yeah so i do not take any measure i do not ask them to uh, do anything or punish them in any way nothing because i know that students those who are willing to learn are ultimately learning i can make out from their eyes the way they talk the way they respond to my questions and if they are not i am actually not interested i do not even want to harm my mental peace this way okay actually maybe uh, you are quite exhausted with all these things with all this behavior that's why maybe you are thinking this way it's also actually true because uh, when your students are not respecting you reciprocating you the way it should they should respect or they should reciprocate uh, you know in a respectful way i think then we can't do anything because whenever they are coming to our school they should abide by the law and the rules and the regulation of our educational uh, sector but if they are not doing that maybe we can tell them for once but not for uh, every uh, thing they are doing i believe if your child is a school going student until mm. then i understand i feel that okay he needs to be taught mm. but when you grow up you are 17 years 18 years 19 years old kid you are no more a kid yeah of course then there is no point in teaching them manners mm-hmm. you mm. just cannot 
Hmm. And they are at that peak age of hormonal development within them that they are so reciprocating. Hmm. Instant argument they want, Hmm. they want uh, scenes to be created, they want Hmm. to get into all these sort of destructive matter, except the studies, they want to do everything and explore. Mm -hmm. So I feel that there's no point in dealing with such kids. Yeah, simply leave them on their way. That's true. Okay. So uh, have you seen today's topic? Uh, It is about art. So are you interested to talk about it? Uh, I'm not an artist, but maybe if the everybody is artist in their own way, everybody is artist in their own way. Some are recognized (laughs) and some are not. But we are the artist of our own life. We are creating each other. Oh, right. Day. Artists right? of our own life. Right, yeah. right, right. Now, because we are not uh, very much bothered about others, we shouldn't be. First, we have to make our own life uh, in the most uh, creative manner. Then we can bother or we can intrude in any other person's life. But that's the thing I think everybody, this ideology uh, is missing in every other person because they are more interested in other person's life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Right, yeah. right. And so, and uh, I have yes. a question actually, if mm-hmm. you don't mind. Hmm. When you said that first, you need to focus on making your life, hmm. your career. Yeah. As I am learning English from you and hmm. I am practicing here, there are many people who are trying to practice English on their own. Hmm. If they are making their career, they are feeling, they are trying their level best and they, with the feel that, okay, I'm doing my level best and I know whatever I'm doing is correct. Hmm. But irrespective of their efforts, they are not seeing any improvement. Could hmm. you tell me the best method or the approach a child or a student or anybody needs to adapt to learn this language effectively and easily because you know this is not the era of hard work until you do smart work so Hmm. do you have any such opinion wherein you can tell us about how can a person improve his or her english effectively and what Hmm. should be the best approach towards that and particularly when somebody is trying to do it on their own So I think uh, what you have said that without hard work, you can't do anything, but you have to do the hard work in a smart way. Okay, so everything you are doing, you have to be very, very persistent in that. And of course, at the same time, I think everybody should have an interest in whatever they are doing. So right now, people are actually chasing behind this language uh, because it is becoming an omnipresent language. It is becoming an ubiquitous language. That's the reason. But also, apart from that, I think people are also trying to show off. Okay, if uh, there is a... Uh, I think a mentality in each and every Indian that if we uh, speak in English, we will uh, we'll be able to present ourselves in a more educated manner. So English is English speaking people uh, are tantamount to uh, educated people. So that's a very wrong perspective. But of course, English is very important. I have to eradicate this mentality that English is only about show off and to uh, present yourself as an educated person because uh, you can't be educated just by knowing English. Of course, English is becoming a very integral part and also an omnipresent language in today's world. That's a very another thing. But because of English and because of this uh, growth of English, our, we are actually neglecting our own mother tongue. So I think with la- with the learning English, we have to give importance to our own mother tongue also. And then I'm coming towards English. At first, we have to have an interest in this language. Other than that, you won't be able to. And right now, what people are doing that they are not uh, focusing on grammar. They're saying that uh, without grammar, uh, I think uh, we can construct sentence, we can tell sentence, we can converse with people, but it will be a uh, building without any pillar if you don't focus on grammar. So first, whenever someone is approaching to learn English, I think more than learning vocabulary, the most important thing will be grammar because other than that, there will be only words, 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 and there will be no constructions, there will be no meaning. So first, I will suggest First, focus on grammar, the basic grammar, like the tense and also pronoun, right. noun, everything. And then when you will learn the grammar, it will become very easy for you and everybody to construct sentence. And for the vocabulary part, I think people are very obsessed about learning new vocabularies. Of course, learning new vocabularies will help you to... Uh, right. Uh, to to make yourself very confident because you will not think about what uh, what I will say against the other one. Mm. But of mm. course, vocabulary is something that with the passage of time and with your practice will I'm going to grab. But first, right. grammar. Second is with your own effort, you have to try to construct sentence. Mm, meaningful right. ones and mm. if you are practicing it by yourself then there is a lot of tools that where you can you know uh, just check whether your sentences are right or not and why i was talking about mother tongue i think uh, if i'm i i belong from kolkata so my mother tongue is bengali what i was following i was following this method that i used to translate bengali passages okay. 
uh, to english, to and, english. Yeah, yeah and that helps me a lot because whenever i was translating a particular passage i was getting new words and then was i was searching so from then onwards i also gather very different you know vocabularies and then i was okay. translating them by myself that how i am able to construct sentences first i think mm. reading is important mm. writing is important so you can't mm. only focus on speaking reading writing right. and speaking and also at the same time listening because if your pronunciation skills yeah. are not good then there is no meaning of that uh, you have to mm -hmm. focus each and everything but first start with reading it's very easy of uh, uh, you know passages or maybe some story books and everything and then start with writing also first right. reading i would say first reading then writing and then listening and at the last part you will grab the skills of speaking and for uh, right. Uh -huh. And whenever you are conversing with someone, I think writing in English and conversing in English are very different thing. Be and I don't think that you should use very elongated sentences when you are speaking, because then you have to make the other person also understand. And I, the only uh -huh. thing that I want to say that don't be obsessed about uh, grabbing very difficult vocabularies. You can also make your conversation very interesting and very uh -huh. much, uh, you know, enriching. with very yeah. simple vocabularies if your sentence yeah. constructions are good and if you are confident so these are the few things like you also do not need to be obsessed about being perfect all the time making mistakes perfect. is the way and to yeah i was actually uh, uh, watching an interview by twinkle khanna i think her english is very good so she was uh, saying that our all our indians are obsessed uh, about english because they think that if you don't know english you are not educated enough so i think this right. mentality first we have to just delete this mentality eradicate 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 mm -hmm. this mentality and then start uh, you know learning english english is something important because it is a language uh, that helps us to communicate with others because those people who don't know hindi or maybe other language uh, right, then english right. will be the only medium so that's the reason we can learn english hmm. yeah right so i feel instead of giving prime importance to english just hmm. to develop that communication yeah. skill and come back to your mother tongue because the emotions you have in your huh. mother tongue can never be felt while you are speaking in english yeah, with yeah, somebody yeah. So yeah, that, better you true. just learn it. Stop giving excuses that no, I am very proud of being uh, Indian and I would love my mother tongue. Improve yeah. it, keep it aside, and then continue with your mother tongue. At least wherever it is required, you are not lagging behind. You are yeah. compatible to everybody else. The, it's true. Thank actually, you so much. I mean, the yeah. answer was fabulous. Very <laughs> Thank detailed, you. explained. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. So, just uh, I'm going to ask one question about today's topic. then uh, one or maybe two if uh, you are interested then what do you think that are the few qualities that a true artist should have in him or her or whom we call a true artist somebody who has passion yeah. about whatever he is doing hmm. if i say english hmm. i consider myself an artist when i am hmm. giving my 100% into it 100% hmm. trying my level best and only hmm. then people will see my creativity yeah, only yeah. then people will recognize that oh she is an art she is an artist what an hmm. art she has hmm. be it communication be it your personality development be it your academics anything you are doing you are an artist if you are giving 101% into it and completely sacrificing all the extra areas just for your one thing yeah you, that's that true. will make you the best artist hmm session with you uh i am looking forward to have more session with you whenever yeah, i do definitely. session i feel it actually turns into a very deep deeper one so i'm looking ah, forward to actually more. i even feel the same that whenever we talk it's not just a regular conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. we explore so many things uh, yeah yeah so thank, thank you good night and take care thank you ma'am thank you good night